Okay, question 22. Express 56 as the product of its prime factors. So, this question is nice and easy if you know what the word product and prime factors means. Product is times in. Okay, we do it all the time in maths. Times in. Prime factors, prime numbers that are factors. What are your prime numbers? Okay, you need to know your prime numbers. Numbers that only have two factors themselves and one. So, two is the first prime number. It's the only even one. The next one is three. Only three and one go into three. Five is the next one. Only one and five go into five. Seven is the next one. Only one and seven go into seven. Eleven is the next one. Not nine. Not nine. Eleven. All right. Eleven is the next one because only one and eleven go into eleven. Nine. Three goes into nine. Everybody thinks it's prime when they stop doing their prime numbers. It's not. Okay. Right. So here we go. Let's break down. Express. Let's break down. 56 into prime numbers that are being times together. A prime factor tree is going to do this for you. 56. Break it down. Think of two numbers that times together to give you 56. Any two numbers you like. doesn't have to be the same as what I do. It will always give you the same answer. So 56. I'm thinking I know that 7 times 8 is 56. Are either of those two prime? Check your list. 7 is prime. Let's stop that branch right there. There's one of our prime factors. That's one of our numbers for our answer. 8 is not prime, so we'll break it down again. Think of two numbers that make 8. 2 times 4. Any prime numbers there? Yes, 2. That's another part of our answer. 4 is not prime. Break it down. 2 times 2 is 4. This is prime. This is prime, okay? So every number has this special prime number code that you can make. 56 can be made up by doing 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. That is the only way you can make 56 by multiplying prime numbers together. 2 times 2 times 2 times 7, all right? There you go. There's your answer. 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. If you work that out, it will give you 56. That's what they mean by expressing it as a product of its prime factors. Okay. If you are asked to write this in something called index notation, so if they said, um, as part of the question, use index notation, it just means, can you write it with powers? So this 2 times 2 times 2 bit can be written as 2 cubed, because there's 3 2s times together. So you just change your answer to that to make it a bit more professional if they ask for it, okay?